This is the design phase of the process, the phase that I know most about. So let's get on into the studio and design this first garment. All right, so we're gonna jump onto the Mac now and start throwing this design together. So I need to bear in mind that there are a couple of things. Um, so first off, the platen that I'm using is 41 by 41 centimeters. So that's, you know, it's a good size, definitely a good size for a garment, but I think in terms of like full big back prints, I need to be mindful of that because for example, this on the screen now is a huge back print. You definitely couldn't get this on the platen. Um, but I'm definitely gonna be making my own flatten in the future. So we'll, um, but we'll work with what we've got for now just to get some initial first prints done. So I often like to work with the garment in view. I mean, you can double click and go straight through to the smart object and work in there if you like, or if you've got a design already, you can just drag and drop it. But for now, because I'm just freestyling, I wanna work just on the fly. So one thing I always like to start with is um, I, like, I like throwing in some type. I'm bang into my typography, so just any excuse to use like type is uh, is always always a win-win for me. So so I'm going to kick this one off. I'm going to put in the coordinates for the studio. Um, definitely we'll put studio Nate in there. Um, let's work that in at the top. And actually we're going to put that a little bit smaller in at the top as well, just so we've got that shape of the garment as well. We're kind of working working to that as like a bit of a guide. Amazing weather at the moment, so let's go for a spring summer edition. Instead of writing spring out, let's go for abbreviations. Let's do a graphic for that as well. So I think I get a solid S shape. And then I think as well, naturally this sort of letter, we can flip this. I think it'll look quite cool having something so it's for the spring summer. Instead of having them both facing that way, because I'm going for a central design. So if we reflect that, so it's the same way. Move them over so they're joining. And then let's boost that stroke up. I think we'll bring them closer so they're nicely together. Let's round these corners off. Um, so yeah, just to round these corners off, it's a nice little trick. You can just select all these points and then just grab the circle and that does. That does that. So now I've got these lines here. I think it makes sense to me visually to align these edges to that as well. So let's go with this. I think that looks nice. Yeah. And as well, I'm, I'm thinking in the back of my mind as well that this graphic is going to go down with the shape as well. So I'm thinking that that's working quite nicely with the shoulder shape. So let's roll with that and expand that as well. So that's all, all one solid shape. And I think as well, I'm going to round these corners at the bottom. I think that'd look nice. So let's, let's round these both. All right, so let's bring this back into Photoshop, see how it's looking. I also, when, when I'm pasting stuff in, I always like to work with shape because that retains the vector, the vector elements of it as well, rather than just having a, 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 a raster pixel version. And then it's, uh, yeah, it just distorts every time you go up and down because I'm always changing the scale of things. Go a limited edition. We'll get that some small type in there just to, um, just to change it up a little bit. And then let's go with addition over the other side, just to balance it out. Let's put something else in the bottom here. I think we've still got space. Like I say, I'm trying to get, get a square. Yeah, we've got room for a bit more because my platen's square. So let's go with something down here. Yeah, let's go for 22. That copyright is smaller naturally within the glyph, which looks crap, so let's fix that up. Right, I'm gonna outline this so I can work with the, with, the, with the vector shapes. Get the C out, that's what I want. And I'm gonna double click to get rid of this too. I'm gonna put the C in here and scale that up. It's the same as the two. Okay, so check this in, see how this is looking. I'm tempted obviously to put color in, but I think it's probably a safe bet to, to keep this a single color design for now. Obviously it's gonna be, um, First, first proper go. So I think let's just, you know, not bite off more than I can chew. So I'm gonna keep this a single color print for now. Okay, um, right, so let's just check, see what that looks like with black ink on a white. Uh, looks good. And as well, like all these other colors, that kind of looks, looks nice too. So I think in terms of um, what I could do with this, like the variants of different color garments, I think, yeah, I think there's quite a few options. Um, even with the dark one like that, looks quite nice. I'm happy with that, I think that looks good. So let's uh, let's jump onto the front. Um, I'm gonna reuse the coordinates, I think, for the front, just to keep it consistent. 
and bring these down. Yeah, I'm quite liking um, central graphics in the chest as well. I used to be massively into the print over on the right, but recently I'm, I'm leaning a lot more towards centered graphics. I just feel like it kind of looks nicer with the garment as well. Um, and if you've got like your, like a zip top on, um, you've got that open, you've got the graphic in the middle, I just feel like it kind of works across the board a little bit more. Um, so I want to put some graphics with this as well. Um, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to get some stuff from the Elements Pack, whatever minerals. I always like working with this stuff. It's always really nice, and and I think as well this will look really nice printed. I scale this down in terms of the garment as well. This is the reporter cut at the moment. This t-shirt, and um, and I think it looks nice. So it's most likely going to be what we go with. So I think the next thing that I want to do with this is print it out just using a shitty little printer over in the corner and cut out the letters and just put them onto an actual garment. So let's roll with the garment that I've already had before. Got loads of samples of those in house. So um, let's, yeah, let's roll with that, print those off, see how those letters are looking on the actual garment and just check the, the scale is right. Because for example, if you're looking at things as a flat lay, that looks nice, but you know, it's very tempting just to just to make things massive, but you know, and that to me as a flat lay, that looks nice. I would have it like that. But if you're actually wearing this with an oversized look, it's all going to be all creased and wrapped around the edges. So I think it's it's better to be slightly smaller. So if anything, have a smaller pattern, you know, it kind of works out. You know, it's kind of forcing me to do something in a way that is actually going to be worn. So um, I think that yeah, that looks good. So so let's roll with that, print it out, and see what the what the scales like. So what I'm going to use is these A4 shipment labels. So these are really good. They just go through the printer and I'd usually use these for like shipments. I just print on the address and then just chuck it through the printer. Um, but I think as well, if I cut these out and then stick the design onto the garment, then I can like hold it up and have a look at it and get a real feel for how that's going to be on the garment. You know, like if you're in a shop, you're most likely going to go and pick it up and take it off the hanger and so on. So um, yeah, I figured that'd be a good way to do it. So I'm going to chuck that in the printer. So this is the garment that I'm going to use. Uh, I used it for the Minefield collection and it's really good. You know, I had really, really good feedback. Um, really heavy weight, chunky. I think it's like 240 GSM. Nice chunky collar as well, which I really like. Um, and it just feels like really premium, just really, really good quality. Um, and it's been washed so many times as well. And uh, you know, that that's a really good sign if it doesn't shrink, you know, it keeps its size. Here we are, all done. So I must admit, I'm probably not gonna cut these out every time I put a design together and I only managed to cut myself once as well, which is a result. Um, but yeah, I think, um, you know, cause it was quite a simple design, you know, to a certain extent, um, you know, I felt confident enough that I could just go and cut that out. And I'm glad I did because, you know, it feels good. It feels like a really nice, nice size. Um, I probably wouldn't want that any bigger actually. But it goes to show when you mock it up in comparison to actually putting it on a proper garment. Um, and this is an XL as well. So in terms of size, it's only gonna go up one more from this. So yeah, very excited to get that off to the print now at that size. Um, yeah, make sure you tune in for episode three, where we'll be getting that up and running for the first time and start running some actual prints. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like for the next video. Cheers.